So in this video, I'll be showing you how to make a radial blur animation. I'll go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. So you see this? So it starts with a radial blur and then it goes to uh, nothing. I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. So right now I have a composite shot and I have some text over a nice picture that I've uh, photoshopped. So uh, there's a effect called radial blur and what this does is uh, from the center out it blurs the uh, whatever you have whether it be a text or image in a, a circular manner. So I'll go ahead and show you how to apply this effect if you're going to put it for into a composite shot. So uh, right now I have intro signature which is the text. I'll just um, drag it over here. And then you can see a little bit if um, if you see this properly. I'll zoom in it just a bit. Or Yeah, there you go. Another thing, if you want to uh, drag this around without actually dragging the um, you know the text and the picture you use this um, particular button anyways so um, you can see that there's a little blur over here and over here and you can control this blur if you go down um, left click this uh, carrot you have some options here I have a center option you have a position option and this uh, allows you to control the position of uh, the center of this blur because it blurs out into a circle because if you notice most of the uh, stuff in the center is less blurred than the stuff um, around. If I change the position, you'll notice that the uh, focus of the blur also changes. Something like 500 should show it. And then 500 over here. Hmm, interesting. So you can see what happens. It, uh, it did change it. It shifted it uh, center of, like over here. As you can see that uh, crosshair, that shows you where it is. So I'll hit Control Z twice. And it brings the crosshair back to the center, and that's the uh, center of the uh, this uh, radial blur. Now the other option you have is the angle, and this is the uh, one that I controlled. So um, starting over here at the uh, very edge, if you want to make a radial blur animation, change the angle to something like 90. That's the max, and you can see it's basically almost a circle. Okay, it doesn't go uh, more than 90. Uh, we want to enable the keyframing for this, so left click this uh, circle button, then drag this out however you, uh, amount of time you want uh, to have this uh, keyframe animation um, consist for, say one second. And now I'm going to um, change this value to zero and hit the enter key, and it becomes normal. And so if I just let this play, it, uh, you know, animates just as I showed you before. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. I'd appreciate it if you like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye.